It's been two weeks since a 14-year-old boy was shot and killed at a D.C. metro station. And still, that family says they're waiting for city officials to meet with them to address their concerns. Avion Evans' father speaking with our Bob Barner today. He's live in Brookland with the story. Bob. Hey, Shamari, we've been in regular touch with Avian Evans' family over the past couple of weeks. They've reached out to us again today, wondering when they're going to hear from D.C.'s mayor and when is it going to be safe for young people to ride the metro system. John Evans has lost two sons to murder at D.C. metro stations over the past eight years. We spoke to him this afternoon. I know the metro system has changed from when I used to ride the metro system 20-some years ago, but... I just can't understand how so much security and so many police officers and it's still that kind of that kind of violent in it. John Evans' 14-year-old son Avian was shot and killed at the Brookland Metro Station the afternoon of April 4th. Avian had taken a train home from his middle school in Northwest DC. Police charging another teen Metro rider with the murder. He shot into a crowd of kids where he could have hit anybody. Unfortunately, he hit Avian Evans, and then. This, this chump walked right out of there with his pistol, just like he walked in. John is a 55-year-old carpenter and says he still hasn't heard from the mayor or any other city officials, a concern I shared with the mayor last week. Well, I would first want to talk to them before I talk to you. I shared what the mayor said with Mr. Evans and asked for his response. The mayor said that um, she was going to talk to us first. Nobody has reached out to us. You have not I'm not saying we have not spoken to the mayor. We have not talked to anybody but the detectives. As for the 16-year-old charged with Avian's murder, his image captured on Metro surveillance cameras, a crime his lawyer called a spontaneous incident in court last week. The coward that killed my son, his parents is asking for him to be released because they said that he never been locked up before. Well, my son never been killed before. This is Avian and his older brother, Johnny Evans III. The older brother was stabbed to death at the Deanwood Metro Station, also here in Northeast D.C., in April of 2016. He was 15 years old. Well, I mean, we love our kids. I mean, I, I, I don't know if people really realize it, but we do love our kids. We just have to deal with what we're dealing with in this culture. You know what I'm saying? We really love our kids. We're just trying to figure out how to navigate in this culture without them getting hurt or being a part of the violence in the culture. John says Avian's funeral will be held sometime later this month. He says the family's been overwhelmed by the uh, love and support, not only from their Brookland neighbors, but Avian's school community. Angie. Bob, thank you.